Hey guys, Matt here from Matt Productions, and today I got something a little different for you. It's um, a tutorial on how to make a YouTube background in uh, Adobe Photoshop. And uh, it looks like this. This is um, the background I am currently using. Maybe I've changed it already, I don't know. But it's, um, it's pretty simple. Um, okay, so what you're going to want to start off doing is finding a template. I gotta tell you guys, I'm too lazy to make this on my own, but they're all over YouTube. Like you can find videos and stuff, and they all have links. So go find go find a, a YouTube uh, background template, and um, download it, and you should be all set. Um, first off, what I did was I did file new. Um, made it 1600 pixels by. 1600 pixels hit ok now as you can see the background is liquefied I don't know if you would know the terms but it's liquefied um, first off you gotta set your background color to red that is ok that just means it can't print that color we're not printing it though and um, select your gradient tool which is right here and then click and hold shift and drag up this will create a straight line um, you don't really have to have a straight line but um it looks better I think anyway select filter liquify and you will mess this thing up a lot so just click and do whatever so as you can see there are these uh, spaces where the background is showing, we don't want those. So just drag the liquify over them over to the edge and they'll go away. And now that those are gone we can just hit OK and it will return the liquify result. Um, now you gotta be careful when doing the liquify because it will um, take longer if you do more liquefaction. Um, the more you do, the longer this will take, and the bigger the file it will be. Um, YouTube backgrounds can only be uh, 256k kilobytes big. Um, I think it's kilobytes. I'm not sure. but um, So make sure you don't do too much, but you also want to do kind of a lot so it looks mixed in. So I just looked back at my um, original background, and I saw I actually used red and black oh well doesn't matter um, and what I did is I dragged this out and I just oh I have to click this tool obviously because this is the select tool and I just clicked and dragged onto this um, tab that's what I'm gonna call it because I'm not familiar with Photoshop terms drag it to fit the whole screen and move it under everything and that's what it looks like um, if your template that you find comes with a black box right here um, you will just double click that bring the opacity down um, whatever just right there is good that'll keep the uh, the shadow there but it will um, be see-through so you can see the background and now we add our text so just select the text tool my computer's acting really slow today I'm just going to type mat for fast um, faster whatever doesn't matter um, and we want this to be sideways going up and down so control T that brings up I'm sorry you need to go to the uh, this top tool I'm calling it the select tool control T that brings up the uh, whatever the heck this is and um, if you hold shift again it clicks straight up and down drag it up to here and we're good apply transformation and this text is too big I'm gonna make it 200 
Uh, even that can be a little big. So maybe 175. Good enough. And then we double click that layer. Go to bevel and emboss. And just bring the size up a bit. Then we want a drop shadow. Make the distance pretty far away. Um, 35 pixels is good, I guess. The um, everything else is good. Now an outer glow. We it's set to like this creamy yellow color. I don't like that, so set it to white. And the not the spread spread can stay at zero, the size we can well, make, make the spread a little bigger um, the size can go up to uh, 35 pixels again, I guess click OK and then we want to right click on the mat layer right click on it and select duplicate layer um, rename it whatever you want I'll just name it this take your select tool Move it over, control T, flip it around the other way, hold shift, it'll snap to those 45 degree angles, and just bring it over here. You can type whatever you want here, I'm not going to tell you what to type, because I don't need to. Um, now a problem I had, I had to do, redo this a couple times, because I thought that the page would actually go to this edge over here when you go to the uh, actual YouTube page it does not see if I zoom out a little bit oops if I zoom out a little bit there's still some more space that um that's left over that you can't see on 100 percent then I took this middle black rectangle layer double clicked it and gave it a drop shadow it uh, it's kind of over here, and the size was kind of bigger. Size feathers the drop shadows out. Um, so I thought that looked pretty cool. Um, then I had some words over here like videos, uh, tutorials, and more. I just I copied or I duplicated these one of these layers, and I wrote videos. I I redid the text. Um, I'll just show you here. I wrote videos, and then I duplicated it again. Um, wrote tutorials, and then I wrote and more. Um, what you need to do is save as, and it will automatically make it a Photoshop file. You don't want that. You want JPEG. Um, save it as whatever you want. I'm going to call it T L Y I S X Z with a bunch of eyes because those are the first letters that popped in my head so click save this should pop up and now you wanna move this slider to wherever and it'll tell you how big the file is over here just to upload this you go to your channel page themes and colors awesome sauce show advanced options delete the background image you already have if you uh, have one and um, you can create a new theme here if you want to I just, well, yeah, create a new theme, delete the background image, um, go to browse, wherever you saved the picture, click open, and that's it. There it is. And now you are done. Then just upload it and you're good that's how you do it so if you like this tutorial you can uh, comment about it you can like the video favorite it subscribe for more I make tutorials and actual like skit kind of videos uh, so this has been Matt from Matt Productions have a good night people